This is Storm Track 12. Oh, it was a chilly one out there today. Winds were pretty breezy at times, and the sun, unlike yesterday, did not help us out all of that much. As again, it felt like it was getting into November for sure here on this Sunday. 34 degrees right now, so still fairly chilly out there, but quiet as well. You see it feels like 29 degrees, however, and there are those current temperatures. All of us pretty much right hovering around the freezing mark at this point. 35 Conklin, 34 Binghamton, and then again below the freezing mark off to the north in Lyle and Green and also Windsor right there at 32 degrees. And as we look at the national temperature picture here, yeah, you can see that the colder air certainly has gripped pretty much the entire eastern half of the country all the way down, of course, to our friends in Florida. They do get to hang on to those warmer temperatures at this time. There's the quieter weather that has pretty much moved in now across the mid-Atlantic and northeast. Still some activity back off to the west over towards the western Great Lakes there. But again, all the activity from earlier at least is pretty much over with off of the lakes. Still one band just to the north of Syracuse there. But those stray batches that made their way across the viewing area here late earlier on this afternoon, those are gone now. And we are in for a fairly quiet night as high pressure settles in directly overhead. So yes, that lake effect, it is done for right now. The skies are going to start out sunny tomorrow, but we do bring clouds in very quickly once again late in the day, and that is just as we bring in some scattered rain showers for the next cold front then on Tuesday. And we have rain Tuesday, but as we get further into the week, is it going to be cold enough once again for some snow to make its return? And we'll show you here in just a second on future track here for the rest of the night. Again, a fairly clear sky for the most part, maybe a few high clouds back off to the west by tomorrow morning. But notice how the cloud cover spreads west to east. Then as we go into the afternoon, we might catch a little bit of a break in there, but clouds are going to be pretty pesky indeed as that next storm system does set up. No rainfall all the way into Tuesday morning, but we do start to see those light showers overspread the area then on Tuesday morning. And with the passage of that cold front Tuesday afternoon, Noon. Things will start to wrap up fairly quickly, though, after that. Temperatures again down near the freezing mark already. That's pretty much where we're going to settle in then for the rest of the night tonight. We try to make a return back into the 40s tomorrow. We do so pretty well considering how chilly we were today. It's going to warm up a decent bit middle to upper 40s tomorrow. And with the cloud cover lows tomorrow night are certainly going to feel warmer. We're only going to be in the upper 30s and lower 40s still. But again, compared to the 20s, it is quite the difference. And then we have our warmest day of the week upcoming then on Tuesday as temperatures make a run towards 50 before that cold front passes through and yes, enjoy the uh, slightly warmer temperatures the next couple of days because we look a little bit further out, of course, into the middle of November. It's looking like much of the eastern part of the country has a high chance at seeing some pretty chilly temperatures as we continue through November 28 tonight. Again, clearing right now, but the clouds are going to return very late in the overnight hours and then into the day tomorrow as that mostly cloudy sky builds in with those temperatures climbing into the upper 40s rainfall for Tuesday and Thursday, but late in the week that high on Friday only near freezing and it looks like we have a pretty decent shot at seeing our first uh, at least accumulating snowfall of the year. I will take any warmth I can get at this point. I already miss summer. I know those warmer temperatures. I was just looking back at some of my old posts, 80s just a few weeks ago. Wow. And now, we have, now, and we're, now we're like down. in the 30s. Wow. Yeah.